City of Tiger has been cracking down on a home that's been called a nuisance by neighbors for more than a decade. The house is on General Woods Drive, and neighbors say a state-run program to prevent foreclosure is actually making this a much worse problem. Our Jennifer Dowling live in that neighborhood now with all the details. Jen? Good afternoon. Well, first neighbors tell me that people on the property have been actually cleaning out their garage and throwing stuff into that huge dumpster after someone from the city's code enforcement program came by over the past two weeks. And the police department tells us the homeowner was just notified of two violations under the city's chronic nuisance property ordinance. Now, the city's not telling us what those violations were in case there is legal action taken against the homeowner. Neighbors say multiple people have lived at the property over the years, although there's only been one elderly homeowner. And over the past few years, they've seen people come and go at all hours of the day and night. They've seen fights in the street, even a dog attack most recently on May 22nd. We spoke to the woman who said she was attacked with her dog, Ginger. We kind of came around the corner. I saw something in front of um, the house at 7735. I assumed it was a cat. And within a second, I realized it was a dog, and it was across the street on us in about three seconds. She says both her dog and herself suffered wounds in the attack. And neighbors say one of the most frustrating aspects of the house is that a state-run program to prevent foreclosures has helped the people stay there. Kenny LaPont with Oregon Housing and Community Services says because it's federally funded, they must follow fair housing rules in the program. He said any, any practices that would have disparate impacts on communities of color could wind up in the court system. Therefore, they don't do criminal background checks and stick to a specific set of loan criteria that would not red flag a nuisance house. Now, we talked to, the, or we tried to talk to the homeowner, rather. I knocked on the door earlier. That's Jean Lake. Uh, she was not home at the time, we were told by someone who answered the door. They were very polite and took a note uh, from me, but I have not heard back from Jean. She did not call me as of news time tonight, but I'll keep you posted. Back to you.